Good morning, everyone. Today is um, Friday, March 8th, and it is the year 2020. And today, I want to make a video about one of the most, um, what I think will be something that will be written down in history, um, for sure. Something that will be definitely recorded for, um, you know, when we're talking about 2020, and especially the early 2020, you know, the first three, four months of the year in which everyone's lives were changed um, for the worse. Um, I guess you can say in the end, there could be things that we've done, we've learned, that we can say, oh, you know, we benefited in a way. But really, it's been very, a tr very much a trying time. And, um, you know, a time in which a lot of bad has happened. And yeah, I mean, so it's, it's indescribable. Um, but I want to talk to, that, to you about this as a first-hand account, you know, um, in my perspective. Um, because you can hear from any pundit, you can hear from any um, political person, but it's very hard to hear the average person talk about it. And honestly, I'm more interested in their stories, so because I can relate to that more. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to the. I'm gonna talk to, talk to you about what I think happened. Let's start with. Let's go ahead and start off with the lead up to like how it happened. Um, so, initially, people were talking about like how they heard about coronavirus back in January, and for me, it's like January. Like, I did not hear about that in January. I never knew there was anything called the coronavirus. I never knew anything about any kind of virus, let alone anything happening in China like that. Um, <clears throat> anything near Wuhan, and so I only heard about it like I would say not even early, but mid February. Um, yeah, mid-February, I remember hearing about it, and I think at the time, I'd heard about it when, like, everyone else had heard about it, you know? When it was, like, the news was, was like, talking about it. <clears throat> and at that point, it was exponentially, I think, a huge problem. Um, but also, it wasn't, like, a minor problem either, you know? It hadn't got to the point where, oh, China was, like, under severe threat, but it was starting to come, you know? And so, eventually, I think the news picked up picked it up, at least I heard about it, and others, um, so like in school, I talked about coronavirus, and how you don't want to travel to China, and how, um, you know, you know, I feel like it was made fun of in a way, because it was Chinese, I don't feel like, I don't, not, not to say I don't feel, I feel like, it, 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 I know it was, it was kind of like, oh, it's a foreign virus, it's something that isn't in America, or whatever, it's, it's in China, so, kind of folk, poke fun, you know, at people from there and what's happening, which is never good, which is never okay. Um, but you know, it was not affecting us, so I guess the mindset was, so what, you know? That kind of derailed everything for us, really, here in America and in New York. And um, so I remember, you know, I watched, you know, around this time, Sonic the Hedgehog came out. My mom, my brother went to watch that. It's like February 14th, a little bit after, I guess, the weekend. And that's mid-February. This is still in China. Movie theaters are still open. People are still congregating. Um, obviously, no, no case had come here yet. Um, and then, even I went to watch another movie in Brooklyn, Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. That was somewhere like, you know, maybe February 20-something. Same thing. There was nothing, no issue, you know? But it seems so weird, because like, movie theaters are going to movie theaters and watching movies. It's just like so foreign and lost now. So looking back, it's like, wow, it's almost crazy. But even though it's like just, you know, three months ago. Um, and so, yeah. And then basically um, around late February, I think it started picking up a lot more, especially in China. Um, by that time, I think late February, I'm no like person who knows the facts, like exactly like I can tell you what date right now about the coronavirus, but Somewhere around late February or early March, it came, I remember hearing it, it came, there was in Washington um, a case, and Washington was just like having like a bunch of exponential growth of cases, which is kind of weird, it's like, I don't understand, you know, and the governor talked about it, and so they were having a lot of issues, kind of like the, the predicament New York is in right now, but it was like Washington, so a lot of people apparently had traveled to Washington, um, and there's just like a bunch of cases. Someone had flew in with the virus from China, and now there were many more in Washington. Um, so it was like, you know, he must have, or she must have, 
contacted others, um, and then also a person died. So that definitely made the news. I mean, that's really unfortunate. And someone did pass away, and that kind of made it really kind of serious. And by that time, you know, early March, it was like, it was like people were taking more precautions. The same people who are like making fun of China are the same people who like got the masks first. And even then, masks, you know, were like, if you're getting the masks, it's like, oh, you're hyper, like, you're really, you're really like scared. You're almost like, you know, you really want to like, um, protect yourself. Like you're kind of like over, overdoing it. But now it's like, you need a mask, you know? Um, and I don't really remember them saying, oh, everyone needs a mask. You know, everyone needs one. I only remember hearing that until just, you know, a few, maybe two weeks ago. So, you know, I don't know. You know, to be honest, it was just kind of, you know, a lot that happened. Um, so then by March, by early March, you know, by that time, I remember we, we closed schools Friday the 13th here in New York City. The 13th, I want to say. Is it 23rd? I don't know. Somewhere around mid March, it just became a huge issue. Huge. And schools were closed. Um, it's so weird how they were closed. Because the day before, which is like a fun day, a regular day, you know, it's a Friday. So, like, you know, you're like, oh, it's the weekend coming up. And so no one expected to, like, come. No one expected to not, to not come to school the next day. People even left, people have to stuff in lockers, you know, people have lockers. So the stuff was there, the, their textbooks even. And so by that time, it was like, we got the message from either the news or the paper or with our friends, something like that, that they had to close schools for the entirety of, I don't know, was it the month? And it was just like, oh, wow. <laughs> like, this is actually really serious, you know? Like, you know, if some people are like, oh, it's should close schools, right? Because that's like the main congregation point. Like, schools, like, please, you know? And others are like, it's not you know, really, you know, kind of like, I guess, cynical in a way. And then they did it, you know? Eventually, there was a lot of pushback. There was a lot of conflicts happening there. But they did it, and, um, and it was very abrupt, I would say. But also, it was better than having it not, like, on a Tuesday or Wednesday, you know? It was a Friday. You know, actually, that day we'd been giving out, you know, that week, that, I mean, that Thursday, that Friday, we'd, we'd been giving out these parents, um, what are they called, parents will visit the schools and come, have like a, like, they come talk to the teacher about the student's performance and how they're doing, and that was expected to happen on, like, Monday and Tuesday, and we never went back on Monday and Tuesday, so they made it online, and even by that time, we think online, I don't know how many people, like, actually did it, because I know I didn't do it, because I just... That was like the last thing in my mind, honestly. I was just like, we all transitioned to this. We all transitioned to this online learning from that point. So now we're using Google Classroom. Now we're using things like um, um, Zoom, and then there was just an issue with Zoom. People were saying it's not secure. People are like, you know, hacking into it and like coming to watch, you know, the videos. And I don't know what they're doing with the videos exactly. I don't know what they're trying to intrude on really. Like for us, like it's a high school physics classroom, so trying to learn physics, you know, and some equations, then sure, but like, just, I don't know what you're gaining from that. Um, but they made it more secure, thankfully, so good for them, thank you. Um, so yeah, and then I've heard the Microsoft Teams I've been using too, um, which also has a um, video sharing software, and um, that's, that's, that's the core ones we're using. We also used Castle Learning for math, although when we did have a test on Castle Learning, everyone went there at the same time and everyone like because it was, it was like a, a certain span of um duration in the day like a certain time that you that it was open you know and then if you after that you couldn't take it or before that it wasn't even there so you had to take it at a certain time and then when it was announced that oh you know it's open now everyone flooded there and i think even i don't know other classes might have gone too not, not just us so it was completely broken like you like crashed the whole server or something like that because it didn't work um, yeah, so I had to wait like three hours for that to happen. Even mass space, we used mass space, also there was an issue. It, it, it's done better now. Um, I guess people are taking it later in the day, but like in the early morning at 8 a.m., when you take it, it's just like, just, I don't know, like, the browser, like, isn't working at all, so. 
you know, just a weight, you know, because everyone's on at the same time, and it's just like a huge overload, you know, for them. So there's been issues as well, but I'm very fortunate, to be honest, to have access to computers, to Wi-Fi, sorry, things like that. Um, I know many students my age aren't able to do that, and they don't have that kind of, you know, resources, and that's put me in a very, like, esteemed position, you know, where I can, I shouldn't be taking it for granted, for sure, and I should be, um, working hard as well, and I also feel for the people who don't have, you know, a basic essentials for transi transitioning to online learning, you know, that is very difficult, you know, for myself, I can't imagine, like, not having, you know, a working computer, a laptop, you know, Sometimes you're writing like essays and things like that. So it's very hard to do that like on a phone, you know? Trust me, I've tried, not, not essays, but like, you know, little short responses and it takes time than doing the keyboard, you know what I mean? So it's exposed a lot, you know? It's just it's exposed a lot to happening that is wrong and needs to be corrected. Um, I did post some videos, um, maybe you've seen them, of seven, seven o'clock, the daily, um, celebrations for the healthcare workers and essential workers um so that's obviously um a thing that happens regularly in the city now and we always doing that and um yeah just clapping a lot of people they start they started off i think they start off with um um like these i don't know these bells or something like that like it's like symbols and they're really loud and they really band together so they make, they make the most the most noise right um so it's very interesting and you know it's a very different world. You know, now now if you watch 60 Minutes or, you know, the Sunday morning, the shows, the, the, the programs you'll get will all be like, focused on coronavirus. I want to find out when that is not focused on coronavirus. And now we're also living in six feet, six feet apart. Um, there's a movie about that, actually. I watched that before. I watched that in August, so kind of interesting. But, um, six feet apart. You have to wear a mask whenever you go into a store. You have to. That's the rule. I mean, it's still like a state rule, um, as far as I know, I know Michigan it is, but it's like recommended, you know, some stores will say, you know, even it's expected, it's kind of like, okay, maybe it's not a rule, but come on, you know, like seriously, you play with your own life or others' lives. Um, some people, I went to one in Brooklyn, um, and they gave me gloves, and it was an organic grocery store, so <laughs> it's like, don't be touching like everything, you know, just like. Instead, have gloves on, I guess they kind of tell you, you know? You know, as soon as you walk in, you get gloves. Um, and the masks, too. Um, there's some very various masks. Some people are like, wearing masks like that come like out from Fallout 4. You know, some like really thick, like nuclear warfare kind of masks. Um, that's interesting. I didn't even walk in the park with them, so it's like bulky, you know? And others, you know, the, the common blue mask. That, like the doctors wear, um, not everyone's wearing them, so I don't know if they're who's a doctor or not. Um, and then there's the ones from China. They all, I mean, they all came from China, really. I don't. They basically all do, and they um, there's like a it's like a white, and it like covers just directly covers your nose. And I like because it, it doesn't like slip over your nose, it doesn't like come off. You know, it's very like rigid. But yeah. Um, and so I know graduations also in colleges for their becoming, um, they're going, um, online, online graduation. Someone asked, do I still have to, like, get a ground and a cap? And it's like, hey, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can, but it's very sad that, you know, you won't get a, you've been, you've been working all your life towards this moment, and even you can't, like, celebrate with the cap and a gown. I don't know if it's, it's, for, it's, it's for everyone's benefit, but, you know. A lot of things are sacrificed now. Some schools are just wondering if they, if they have you know enough tuition. I know our school we're gonna lose. I mean New York City schools because the budget is just tourism already gone. I mean you have a lot of things happening and because of that the DOE's budget could be going down um, because you know it's just like we, the the revenue was that was expected from the for the city isn't there you know. You know how many tourists are coming to New York City, a hotspot of the coronavirus, when, you know, even by the summer, I think people will still be wary. They'll still be like, mm, you know, 
I know Italy opened there. Italy opened their borders. They said people could travel there. I want to know who's going there, to be honest, because that's a big risk, you know? Um, I don't know, China is saying, okay, don't come. Just don't. So, it's just a lot happening, you know? Um, but yeah, um, I'm very fortunate though. I'm still healthy, my family is still healthy. I never had any contact with the coronavirus at all. Um, yeah, you know, I'm at a risk because I have asthma too. So, um, but also I'm a young person, but you know, young people, they can't be affected too. That's the thing. We thought it was not the case, but it is, you know, um, it could be the case. Even if I've read somewhere that, not read somewhere, but I saw that somewhere, even children could be affected. And so, yeah. And you know, Canada closed their borders to us, like, no Americans coming here, so, okay. So like, okay, no one go, no one go to Canada, unless you like are a citizen or a family member, I think, I think, like that kind of rule. But yeah, I mean, what else can I say? Ah, <sighs> wow. Oh, the president has had his weekly briefings, but those ended? I don't know if they ended or if they're, if they're going on. Because sometimes he shows up with, um... Dr. Anthony Fauci, um, and also Robert Redford. Um, they're, they're all doctors. So they always have these, um, they've been having them for, I don't know when they started, but for a while. So they've been having those and they inform the public about what's happening and what they're working on with the coronavirus, you know. The hope is to get a vaccine. It has been predicted that it's been like, man, um, two years, I've heard 18 months. I'd rather try to speed it up to be like this fall. Cause the thing is, this fall, there could be another outbreak. I don't know what, what's the name they called it. Another another like, you know, uh another wave of it. Because basically that's flu season. And so flu season and, and the pandemic, you know, it could pick up again. You know, I'm not explaining it very well, but it's even worse. And the thing is gonna be even worse than what it is now, which is crazy. Already US were leading in the amount of in the number of coronavirus cases. Um, as I stand right now, here, I'll confirm. I know it's over 1 million by now. Um, in the world, it's 3 million. But let me check right now for you. Coronavirus cases. Okay. Oh, they have a whole map and everything. Jeez. I wish I could show you my, um, I search coronavirus cases and they have, like, Google, like, this, like, whole COVID-19 alert system, like, this whole, like, I don't know, like, COVID-19... Central. Oh my goodness, wow. They just they just give everything. It's New York Times, CNN, Diario AS. Um Okay, so the cases have been going down, although it looks like they're rising. Uh right now as of May sixth sixth, it is two thousand seven hundred and eighty six cases. And the peak was, oh, the peak, guys, you won't believe it. The peak was on April 15th, the day after my birthday. I thought it was in March, but I was wrong. And that peak was 11,571 cases. And uh, that's New York. Oh, okay. That's New York, guys. I'm talking about U.S. U.S., the peak was, um, oh, man. It was 33,725 on April 4th, and then the highest was April 25th, sorry, 24th, when it was 36,137. New cases, sorry guys, not confirmed, but like new cases, you know, like someone else came to the hospital and they were also a coronavirus, you know. Um, in the U.S. confirmed, is this, is this, con oh, these are, these are not deaths, these are confirmed. Um... 327,000 confirmed cases and 20,828 deaths. That's New York City, guys. I'm sorry. That's New York City. If you want to know worldwide, oh my goodness. Sorry, not worldwide. Um, in the U.S., I have it right here. 1.2 million confirmed cases of coronavirus. 175 thousand recovered, thankfully, and there were sadly seven, uh, 76,537 deaths. In those confirmed cases, they went up by 25,696, 
and the deaths went up by 1,126, so almost by um, almost 2,000 new deaths have happened. This is updated less than 40 minutes ago, so it's very new. Um, and worldwide, guys, you won't believe this. Confirmed cases is 3.85 million, almost at 4 million cases. <sighs> Let's see. Let that same thing. And they just, they just, they just, there's been more than, there's been more 83,462 confirmed cases added. Luckily, people who have recovered have been 1.28 million people, but sadly, the deaths have been 270,000, and there have been 6,542, almost 7,000 new deaths right now in the U.S. The leader is New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Illinois, California, in that order. California doesn't seem to have new cases. Um, apparently, New York, it's not like really showing anything here, I don't know. Worldwide, let's see, the leaders in worldwide, United States, um, 1.29 million confirmed cases, Spain, 200, 223,000 cases, Italy, 216,000 cases, United Kingdom, 27,000 cases, in Russia, oh, Russia, and I didn't hear about them in the news, really, about having coronavirus, 188,000 confirmed cases. It goes down, we even see Germany, then France, then Brazil, then Turkey, then Iran, then China, then Canada, then Peru, then India, then Belgium, Netherlands, Saudi Arabia, Ecuador, Switzerland, Mexico, Portugal. Portugal, Pakistan, Sweden, Chile, Ireland, Singapore, Belarus, Qatar, Israel, United Arab Emirates, Austria, Japan, Poland, Romania, Ukraine, Bangladesh, Indonesia, South Korea, Philippines, Denmark, Serbia, Colombia, Dominican Republic, South Africa, says. Czechia, Czech Republic? They changed their name or something? I don't know. Czechia, Norway, Egypt, Panama, Australia, Kuwait, Malaysia. I can go on and on, guys. I can go on and on. But all the countries that listed right now have more than have almost seven thousand confirmed cases. Um, from Malaysia onwards, all those countries. I don't know how many that was. Oh my goodness, that was. They all have. 6,535 cases or more of coronavirus. <sighs> People have done, like, um, institutions like the John Hopkins um, Hospital have been, you know, keeping track of these cases, um, the CDC. And so you, you, you have to see what happens, guys. It's, it's unfortunate, but look at how it is worldwide, all those cases, all of them. And it's, it's, it's May 8th. And there's still more and more and more, and there's also controversy. People are wanting to push back. Sorry, people want to reopen the states because people are out of jobs. People are furloughed. People do not have any money, income coming in. Those things they sent us, the, the not us, sorry, they sent people 18 and older. The people, the things that um, the stimulus check hasn't come for like a lot of people. Like I heard, like 60 million people st still to wait until June next month to get them because they had not come um some people have gotten them th thankfully but there's also been issues because um the stimulus check hasn't gone through that quickly because of having to go through these insurance companies like h&r block and TurboTax, and that's like having to look for the files and going through them apparently makes it more complex for those who just registered their, their tax files with, with the irs have it more easier um Sorry, not have it. Sorry, let me sound. I don't want to sound like you know. Like I'm making it easy. Have it like um, not have it easier, but this the process is like more um sped up quickly, um because they're not going through. Oh, let me look for tax files. Oh, let me you know. Let me just try to you know because they, they went directly through the IRS. So people are still waiting for the stimulus checks. People are out of business. People are out, out. I mean, I look in New York City. I see so many businesses that are out. Um, it's completely out of. You know, all those gates, you know, those steel gates are just covered and, you know, restaurants losing money. I mean, there's one that, there's, there's one that was really here, that was here, they were doing great. You know, I don't know why they didn't do delivery, that's their, um, that's their, um, idea, but they, a lot of the people are doing delivery, obviously, no takeout, no, I mean, sorry, delivery, takeout, but no, like, coming in, obviously. But this restaurant right here, it was doing great. 
and had a lot of business. I mean, honestly, packed. I can tell you right now, March, early March, um, when this was when this was just starting to come, it was it was packed. You know, it was really busy and fruitful. I mean, this is the last company I thought would sorry not company. This is the last business I would think restaurant that would close. And I know it's not closing differently, but I mean, no, it's completely gone. No one's working there, and the gates are closed. So it's done a lot of damage. You know, and people want the company, the sorry, the country to reopen as quickly as possible. Governors are doing that already. They're trying to reopen um, New Jersey. They already they already opened the parks, so it is looking like it's it's better. But people are the government. Some people, okay, you can be optimistic, but not too optimistic. You know, because the second wave is always going to be something that's pressing us in the future. It could definitely happen, especially in the fall when it coincides with the um when it coincides with the flu epidemic. Um, and so sorry, the flu. Um, and so that's the issue here, and and furthermore, I mean, as much as people want to like get out, they're telling people, okay, like yeah, but lives are at stake, you know. Um, it's very hard. It's a very thin line to cross. Um, these people, you know, they don't have jobs. They don't have income. Having to support themselves. Some check hasn't come maybe to them. Some people haven't gotten it yet. So even what do they what do they do? You know, they're hungry. I mean, people who, you have these, all these food banks, right, right, right next to us is this place where these taxis come, and there's the army are, are giving, um, like, masks to them for free, sorry, masks to, to give to people, and masks to give to the homeless and other people in their homes who can't, like seniors, you know, who can't come out because they're the most vulnerable. And so they're giving them out masks, um, food, and taxi drivers, they go ahead, and they go ahead and distribute them to, like, seniors, the homeless, People who are vulnerable, things like that. So it's, it's amazing to see people also coming together and doing that idea. I mean, someone was like, oh, let's do this. And that was just like a brilliant idea. It shows how people can really work hard together. And so, and taxi drivers, also, they're also really, really vulnerable. I mean, they're transporting people every day. I mean, that's amazing. And they don't even know who they're transporting most of the time. You know, they come, they leave, they come and leave. But that's how it is, you know. And they're really putting their lives out there and they're really you know, taking a stand, and I really think that's amazing. That's just human goodness. I think I said a word, it's just human, human good, you know? And so, yeah, and so people want to reopen. People want to, you know, have this to be over. And they're like, oh, the government's like, we understand, but I understand that also we need to protect you, our citizens. And so, um, as I said before, they just opened their parks, their golf courses. Maybe tennis courts. I don't know if they opened all sports arenas or not sports arenas, but sports in general. But it's closed. Um, I mean, it's open now. So New York, though, eh. and I know they're trying to open upstate. People are saying, "Oh, New Yorkers will come." Sorry, New York people. People in New York City will come to upstate, and then that's just like you know, it's too much. Just you know, it's redundant almost. People in upstate are like, we don't have any cases really. Not many. It's going down for us, so why not open our stuff? And it's like, yeah, but I mean, it's it's complicated, and people are protesting as well. People are protesting. They're like, okay, no, we want to be open. We want to be getting our jobs back. You know, this is not fair. And it's like, just you know, they're going to like the governors, um, and asking them to do that. And so it's a lot happening. It's a lot happening. You know. People are also going to the beaches too, which is great, you know, it's summer, it, it gets hot, you know, going to the beaches is nice, right? But also they're congregating too, so if you go to the beach, it's like, oh, even if there's what, in Florida, it, none of them wore masks, so that was very, um, but they were six feet apart, they were spread out, so I guess that evens out somehow, I don't know. I mean, it's just taking the necessary, necessary precautions right now, and yeah. Um, but everyone, it's getting warmer, it's getting hotter, it's like 80 degrees the other, the other day in New York City, so now everyone wants to get out, and so, it's like, okay, everyone can get out, but, you know, just a few weeks ago, I'm going to say, stay, stay home, stay inside, stay, stay, uh, save lives, but now it's like, the weather's hot, man, like, I don't want to stay inside, so now you have everyone, now you have like, I don't know, 8 million people in New York City saying the same thing, so, you know, you know how it is in summer in New York. I mean, if you're a New Yorker, you know how it is in the summer. You know how Central Park can be packed. So right now, that's not going to happen. But anyway, we'll see.
Bye.